Illumination! Did you notice the Terminator references in the trailer for the fourth Despicable Me movie? Or the nods to various countries that most people didn't catch? We've compiled 22 more incredible new details and Easter eggs from the trailers for Despicable Me 4 that we noticed upon closer inspection. And get ready, because there's a lot of cool stuff! Poppy is one of the new characters we'll meet in Despicable Me 4. Despite having a nose very similar to Gru and his family, according to our investigation, Illumination claims she's just Gru's neighbor and a big fan of the former villain. In other words, she's an aspiring villain and protagonist in future films. But what we noticed about her character is that she's an Illurophile. Hold on, hold on. That's not a disease, but rather the term used for people who are addicted to cats. In addition to having a feline partner, we can see that her apartment has various items with cat-related features, like a small puff, headphones with cat ears, and some stickers in the kitchen cabinet, plus the toy she uses for her dance steps with her feline partner. And, almost unnoticed, even her blender has a cat tail and is pink, which are the predominant colors in Poppy's clothing and kitchen. Now let's talk about one of the most patriotic references in Despicable Me. When we see Bob and Stuart in the pool right at the beginning of the trailer, if you pause and look closely, you'll notice that Bob's outfit matches his float and perfectly forms the U.S. flag. The swimsuit is blue and full of stars, and the float is red with white stripes. Or is it white with red stripes? Now I'm confused. But the fact is, it's identical to the bottom part of the United States flag. The catchy background music in the fourth film's trailer is one of Guns N' Roses' most famous rock songs, called Sweet Child of Mine. And we can see that it seems like the music is really playing for the characters in the movie, too, since there's a radio both at the pool where the minions are and in Gru and his family's kitchen. Speaking of Gru's kitchen, we notice something quite startling. Although we do see that the family does have a healthy diet, among the utensils we found a tube with a radioactive symbol. What does that mean? Is Gru keeping radioactive items in his kitchen? Or is he using accessories that used to be in his evil laboratory in his kitchen? If that's the case, I wonder. Did he wash it with plenty of water and soap? I know you love your dada. Go on, say it. Dada. Dada. In the same kitchen scene, we can see a box of raisin cereal, indicating that Gru's family is avoiding sugar and uses raisins to sweeten their cereal, which really confirms, as we'll see in some other details from the trailer, the family's healthier lifestyle. In the first trailer, we notice Lucy and the girls running and fleeing for some reason. If we pause the trailer at the right moment, we'll see that they're being chased by some kind of terrible robot. And all of this happens inside the supermarket. It's quite reminiscent of those scenes from Terminator where machines chase the protagonist, don't you think? And take advantage while the machines haven't taken over the world yet to subscribe to our channel and receive our upcoming videos. In the same scene where Lucy and the girls are running, we can see that the shopping cart is labeled Mayflower Market, which is exactly the name of the city the family moved to. Talking about the market symbol, we couldn't help but notice that its symbol bears a striking resemblance to the Walmart symbol, as it looks like a half sun, while the symbol of the large largest supermarket chain in the U.S. actually resembles a full sun. In the same teaser focused on Poppy, we see one of the minions, Bob, dressed as a tennis referee, indicating that indeed Gru and his family's new lifestyle is much more refined, which fits perfectly with the scene where Gru and Lucy are dressed in tennis player outfits at the door of their new apartment. Another small detail confirming all this is Gru's new, much more high-class style. For instance, when he's next to Margot, we see he's wearing a pink solo shirt. And if you pause the video at the right moment, you'll notice that the shirt is almost an imitation of one of the world's most famous tennis clothing brands, Lacoste, the brand represented by a crocodile. Except, instead of a crocodile, we can see another reptile in the logo, a turtle. A clever strategy by Illumination to avoid being sued. <laughs> When we see the introduction of the new villain's name in the movie, Maxime Le Mal, there's an interesting detail. We're talking about this sign that reads Key Light, which is the name of the store next to the first appearance of the giant mechanical cockroach. The term refers to a phrase used to identify those light sources widely used in cinema and YouTube video recording aimed at avoiding shadows that might make the filming look weird. This is probably a pun by the production team, even considering the name of the company that animates the Minions and Despicable Me franchise, which is called Illumination, which ties in perfectly with the concept of key light we just explained. Don't you agree? In the same scene, we can see the same guy who was leaning against the van, only this time looking at the giant cockroach climbing the skyscrapers with its mechanical legs. We can tell he's an employee of the pest control company, as the company's identification is on the equipment. 
about the names of the two new characters in the franchise, Maxime Le Mal and his super stylish girlfriend, Valentina. We can definitely say that this is a reference to the origin of the company and the franchise Despicable Me itself. The villain's name is clearly French, just like the name Valentina, which also has origins in the fashion country. This is because initially Despicable Me was created by MacGuff Studios, a French animation company that was later acquired by Illumination in 2011. Just a curiosity about this. The director of Despicable Me 1, 2, and 3, Pierre Coffin, is also a French director, and he's the brilliant voice actor of the Minions. That's right, he's the one who gave that incredible funny voice to Gru's faithful Minions, which all franchise fans know very, very well. I'm a huge fan of Gru's Yellow Helpers, so if you are too, comment down below. Hashtag Minions. Speaking of fashion, the connection of the two characters with France is so striking that we can see both value elegance in their attire, as Maxime wears a super stylish green coat with yellow details while Valentina wears a strong and flashy pink outfit. Not to mention other items like the extremely large glasses and white gloves they both wear, and a golden bow tie also worn by Maxime, all reminiscent of fashion articles. In fact, Maxime's origin and his feud with Gru is something that hasn't been fully explained yet, but we have a pretty good theory about it. They were probably classmates back in the Super Villains Academy days, and somehow Gru thwarted Maxima's plans and dreams, leading to his imprisonment. And speaking of the Super Villains Academy, in the extended trailer we found on the internet, but which isn't known to most fans yet, we found some really cool details. For example, we see that in the room Gru, Poppy, and the minions invade, there's a small prison, which must serve as punishment for the Academy students who don't perform very well, I guess. Moreover, we also see a banner that says, Keep calm and be nasty, as if it were a welcome a message for new students, which really proves that it's a school for villains. On top of all that, it really seems like Honey Badger is very beloved by everyone at the school, especially by Principal Uberschlecht, who has a huge painting of the school's mascot on her coffin, uh, I mean bed. And not only that, we can see the image of the animal carved in some details throughout the principal's office, like on the ends of the table where there are rings hanging on the gold figures of the Honey Badger. We also notice that there's even a plush toy of the animal, which reinforces that it's a figure that represents the villain school very well, which, let's admit, is quite cute. And to wrap up, we notice that the villain school also has culture, as we can find a copy of the book The Lighthouse on the classroom floor, written in 1927 by Virginia Woolf, an English writer, which addresses many philosophical questions and talks about childhood emotions. These were 22 more incredible details and Easter eggs we found and compiled for you in the trailers of Despicable Me for. I'm counting down the days to see Gru, the girls, and the minions once again. How about you? In the meantime, we have these two videos here for you to enjoy while you wait. Just choose and click. Thanks, and have fun.